বাংলাদেশ ফিল্ম ইনস্টিটিউট দু হাজার ছয় সাল থেকে দেশে নিয়মিতভাবে চলচ্চিত্র নির্মাণ কোর্স পরিচালনা করে আসছে এক মাস শেষে একটি পরীক্ষা অনুষ্ঠিত হয় পরীক্ষায় যারা উত্তীর্ণ হন তারা তৃতীয় পর্বে এক মাস ব্যাপী পাঁচ মিনিট দৈর্ঘ্যের একটি চলচ্চিত্র স্বল্প দৈর্ঘ্য চলচ্চিত্র যৌথভাবে নির্মাণ করার সুযোগ পান তো এই কোর্সটি আমরা দীর্ঘদিন ধরে পরিচালনা করে আসছি এবং আমরা আশা করি আপনার যারা চলচ্চিত্র নির্মাণে আগ্রহী তারা এই কোর্সে অংশগ্রহণ করবে I'm on my way to International People's College, IPC, in Helsingor. I have been asked to make a documentary film on the college. My cameraman Anwar and his assistant Manu are coming from France. Peter Manike, the founder of IPC, dreamt of an institution where young people from different countries, even hostile countries, will live and study together. Helsingor is a small Danish town in the north of Copenhagen. Helsingor has quite a bit of history, being more known perhaps for the Kronberg Castle, the castle of Hamlet, which Shakespeare has immortalized. We arrived at IPC on a bright sunny morning, but we soon learnt not to trust the Danish weather. Formed in the model of Danish folk high schools, Manike founded the college in 1921. I have been told that in this autumn term of 1998, around 100 students from 40 different countries have enrolled themselves to study for 16 weeks. I am really curious to observe how all these young people from different nationalities, religions and languages can live together. Will it work? Does it work? Students came from all over, from Hungary to Honduras, from Costa Rica to China, even from countries difficult to find in a map. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello some with their parents. Elizabeth came with her grandparents. When I first saw the pictures of all the students on the wall, I thought, oh my God, I'll never be able to remember all their names. But I soon find out that I do, and everyone else also does. I asked some students, why they have come to IPC. What are their expectations? I want to uh, study different cultures and uh, meet different people from all over the world. And um, I think it's the best opportunity for me to be at this school. And um, I um, expect that I will develop personally during the course and uh, have another view on the world afterwards. I expect from IPC to get more information about other cultures, to get uh, some more points of view about things, and to meet interesting people and to make friends with them, and um, just to have fun. I've come to IPC to experience all the various cultures all over the world, because I feel that it's better to experience it yourself than reading in books. Because even in, in, in the media, they portray a different story from, from the actual thing. And um, I've also come here because in South Africa, uh, we have a, a very young democracy. 
I'd like to find out from all the other students in their countries how it works and especially the, the welfare system in, in Denmark. We all come here with some sort of prejudice. Whether we want it or not, we're trying to leave the prejudice, but we all have an idea how everyone else is. And I want first-hand information. I want to know what people are really like. We're living together in the same building, the same roof. And it's very important, I think, that we all respect and accept each other. Because if we do that, there are so many, so many things we can make out. The idea of a Danish folk high school is very interesting. The visionary of this idea, NFS Gunvik, and the practitioner Kristen Kold were definitely wise men. It needs a lot of courage and imagination, almost a bit of eccentricity, to establish an institute like IPC way back in 1921. An eccentric Manike was. The school had its share of ups and downs. During the 20s, manual labor was very important. And the school was built almost entirely by the students and teachers. During the 30s, political ideologies dominated the school. Same in the 60s, when radicalism was the order of the day. During the 70s, it was peace and disarmament. And today, it seems international understanding and cultural coexistence are the more prominent themes. During the Second World War, Hitler's forces occupied the college. And it is difficult to imagine today that fascist soldiers used to march and goose step on this very field. It is now on Christoph Christiansen, the present principal, to work on Manike's dreams. Christoph seems like a bundle of energy. Diminutive Christoph always looks busy. What impressed me most was Christoph's capacity to take quick decisions and implement them too. But I especially liked his presence of mind and subtle wit. I understand it is not easy to run a place like IPC and sense of humor can be a good line of defense. But with his typical Danish understatement, Christoph says, I don't actually do anything. I just pretend to be busy. It is those three ladies in the office who do the real work. It was interesting for me and my film crew to watch students, sometimes from very alien cultures, getting along with each other from the very first day. There are also efforts from the school to break the initial ice, to integrate everyone, like David's bringing in rain. But before the rain comes, there are special sounds that occur, and there's a development, and we immediately can sense. <laughs> Australian Max teaches Danish author Karen Blixen. Indian David teaches theatre. Bulgarian Angel teaches music. A truly international teaching staff. Yeah, I'd like to do on a dead person. Excellent. And then he tightens it. Right? Now what does that suggest? Yes, yes. Rope on the gallows. So there's all these little, little, little uh, bits there. Wanting to say something? Yes. The way he, well, obviously he has a chance to film him since he's a father, but also he goes to get a shave, like he exposes his face. 
Yep. And like at the end, he sort of exposes himself by saying that killing isn't easy. Yes. Like they're standing in front of each other, and it's like he's taking off his mask. I think that's a nice metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So you see here, there was a social division here. The working class and, 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 and peasants and, and the lower class people, they took this, while the middle class people, those who had parents who themselves had education, they, they were pushed into this line, of course, giving the students some exercises and then let them work with that. And, and then the, the teacher would just go around and, and, and help those groups or help them you know, very much in, in, in this class, um, especially from middle class uh, parents. And, and also more conservative, conservative society and from the private business. Not such hard work like during Peter Manike's days, but students have to do some work, like laying the table, washing dishes, or cleaning the floor. 50% of the cost of the school is raised from student fees or by organizing short courses. The remaining 50% is subsidized by the Danish government, that is, by Danish taxpayers. There is a small pond behind the school playground. The pond, with its weeds, reminds me of my country, Bangladesh. A nice place to sit and ponder. <laughs> There's oh, no okay. effect. No. So if I'm the pot, <laughs> you, you can... As the countries are varied, so are the subjects. In IPC, one can study such academic subjects like world literature or sustainable development, as well as creative subjects like ceramics or even basic cooking. Creative subjects seem more popular among the students. Maybe we all want to be creative. Maybe it's a part of human nature. No. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Thank you. And then these people here that came in the seventies, then they became having they started having children. So they're not from a Danish culture or anything, uh, what should we call them? They started calling them second generation immigrants. And from a logical point of view, that doesn't really work. Because when they have children, they will be called third generation immigrants. But if you're an immigrant, I mean if you're born in Denmark and so on, how can you be a second generation immigrant? It doesn't make sense. I think either you are a Dane or you're not Dane. And now these words have become very negative, uh, very negatively uh, Latin. So they are trying a new word now for these second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation uh, immigrants. And they now call them New Dance <laughs> New Day. when they light a campfire, they sit cozy and close to each other. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. 
Changini ita Ekti gani ami shuta Bole jete chai Bangla amara ami jeta Atto chawana ire Atto chawana Rani che priyo More shadir janma bhami When Dilara sings a song from her country, maybe they feel a little homesick. In the age of internet, a letter has a different appeal, maybe for its human touch. The college telephone is always busy. Reasons are understandable. Too many teenagers around. To feed hundred people three times a day is not an easy job. In the Bible, it is said that you can't please two masters at the same time. But at IPC, the cooks have to satisfy the food habits of 40 different cultures with 40 different tastes. Europeans complain that the rice is too soft. Asians say it's too hard. Even for the cook in heaven, it's not an easy job. No wonder Christoph's main worry is the kitchen. No. You mean the one with... No. <laughs> Maybe that's why, as a Brazilian student picked, he has so little hair left on his head. There is a McDonald's just next to the college. Only students from affluent countries can afford to go there, but it beckons. Sometimes I wonder, how come the place is so neat and tidy in the morning, especially given the parties the previous night? I soon discover that during the early hours of the morning, when it is almost dark and the students are in deep sleep, Nora and Hane come to clean the mess, like some angels from the fairy tales. I think an IPC, he receives most, who involves himself most. lies only within oneself and that differs from individual to individual. Some bunk classes showing different excuses. <laughs> What's the story, boy? What happened at 3.30? Up to now, we find that the, the what do you call it, the, the economies are linked up with the, the what do you call mother countries. No, 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 no,
It was my France was so special. Yes? <laughs> Songs and music had always been part of the everyday school life. But songs were not always sung in tune, especially during the first few days, and for some people, not even in the end. Except for their age, it's difficult for an outsider to figure out who's a student, who's a teacher, and who's the principal. A few months back, I read a Danish novel by Hans Scherfig, titled The Stolen Spring. It shows the regimentation of the school system during the old days. Compared to that, the way IPC is run is a great leap forward. I have never heard of any campus in the world where students don't have two complaints. First, there isn't sufficient democracy in the college. And second, the food is bad. No wonder IPC also has been facing these two complaints for the last 77 years. IPC has no rigid constitution. During each term, students vote for a student council. The student council runs the everyday affairs of the school. And um, teachers should give more inspiration, tell uh, about their experiences and other educational things in theoretical subjects because someone said that those classes were getting a little boring and um, uh, we, we or oh, bigger rooms I'm sure that's not possible but someone wrote in there we have the beds are too narrow and the desks are too small so I don't know what you could do but um, the bigger rooms And uh, it will be good if there will be more English newspapers and Russian newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in the evenings, people are very hungry. I'm hungry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, I spend a lot of money on McDonald's or something. It will be good if uh, there will be sandwiches or something. Yeah. With okay. Or fruit or something in the evenings that we can eat. Uh, not only tea. Bangladesh Film Institute, Duhaja Choi Shalteke Deshe, Niomito Habe, Chalchito Nirman Course, Polichana Koreashti, Akma Sheshi Polikonistitoha, Polikajarotinahan, Tara Titio Porbe, Akma Shapi, 
পাঁচ মিনিট দৈর্ঘ্যের একটি চলচ্চিত্র স্বল্প দৈর্ঘ্য চলচ্চিত্র যৌথভাবে নির্মাণ করার সুযোগ পান তো এই কোর্সটি আমরা দীর্ঘদিন ধরে পরিচালনা করে আসছি এবং আমরা আশা করি আপনার যারা চলচ্চিত্র নির্মাণে আগ্রহী তারা এই কোর্সে অংশগ্রহণ করবে There is no place better than IPC to get rid of one's stereotypes. I myself have learned to get rid of the stereotype that Africans can't handle technology or that Europeans can do it better. Each nation seems to have some stereotypes about themselves. It was curious to hear what Sophie had to say about the Danes themselves. Welcome you all to Denmark. Yeah. We all be happy you didn't arrive a thousand years ago because we weren't as friendly then as we are now. <laughs> um, this is a fairly small country, but I believe we're known for being, um, having a welfare system, for being quiet and peaceful. So I hope you'll enjoy it here. With, other than that, we rather loud, drink a lot, eat a lot, smoke a lot, but we're kind of nice anyway. <laughs> But I have seen so many different kinds of Danes. Danes in general have some mental block about Germans. But when I see Eva or Elke, I realize how wrong those stereotypes are. I'm sure after meeting them here, some Danish students also think so. Europeans in general have a tendency to stereotype the Japanese that they come in bus loads and all carry cameras. Maybe the Europeans suffer from some complex about the Japanese due to their economic success. Americans are also victims of stereotyping. The general stereotype about the young Americans are that they are fond of partying and they always want to have fun. But I soon found out that the young ones from the other nations are no less enthusiastic about parties. A lot of people think that everybody from the United States is rich and wealthy. And partially that's probably because of the television shows from the United States that get shown here, all the soap operas and all the people living upper class lifestyles. But we run into people who think that everyone in the United States has their own personal airplane and you know, mm -hmm. lives in a mansion and has servants and, and things like that. Sometimes it's so difficult to sit in a class and talk about the history of, of the American government's involvement in uh, Africa and <laughs> Latin America. And the, the other students, they don't blame us, of course. No, and they say, it's never felt personal. It's, it's never felt personal, but, you know, our government at least our parents' government, has done terrible things in the countries of many of the people here and is probably still doing things now and sometimes it feels like we should be doing more in our country. Thang, the Vietnamese student, complains that the weekends in IPC are not so well organized. There is a film club in the college which shows films on Sundays but that's not enough to fulfill the lazy hours of a weekend. If the weather is good, which in Denmark requires some luck, students go out biking. The school also arranges tour programs. Christoph, or one of the teachers, plays the guide. The Dina period to Link, Helsingør and Hillerød. And the castles there, the castle of Kronborg and the castle of Frederiksborg. Uh, in the old days, the kings did not uh, have a permanent residence. They moved around in the country. It was part of the obligation of the Serbs to maintain the road.
When I feel a little lonely, I go and sit in Hamlet's castle. Who won't like that sullen prince who could say, You can fret me, but you can't play upon me. In answer to Polonius' question about what he was reading, Hamlet disdainfully answered, Words, words, words. Three centuries later, Grunvik tried to revoke the power of the living word. From Hamlet to Grunvik, the odyssey of the word has come a long way. And so has the Western civilization. It seems a bit symbolic that IPC is located in the town of Hamlet. The world is still full of war, strife and conspiracies. We need a lot of Hamlets to fight these out. Goodbye, sweet prince. Sally, the folk dance and English language teacher, is sick and she's been taken to hospital. Sally is no more. Christoph received the fatal news from hospital. How difficult to accept it. I knew Sally's condition was critical, but never in our wildest dreams did we imagine she would die. Danish language teacher Jens told me Denmark has 16 months, January, February, March, etc., etc., and then November, 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 and November. Generally, students from the Western Hemisphere, brought up in affluency, are more keen on parties and discourse, and ones from the third world countries, a bit shy of that. Some subtle tension exists in this fear. It seems for some, language is a hindrance. Those who are good in English and articulate form their own subculture. But Chinese, Japanese or Latin Americans who are not that proficient in English remain a bit less conspicuous. Even being together with a large number of people you can be very lonely. During the first few weeks, everyone tries to put up their best faces, but gradually other traits of their character comes out. Four months are too long a period to be able to conceal one's true self. Of course, we are more into groups now than we was in the beginning, but I think it's it's a way to do it because um, um, some people, of course, you are more um, close to close to in the way of thinking and uh, interests and uh, yeah, and therefore I think it must be like that. Maybe you have to improve it. And other thing is, for example, that household duties that yeah. Some people really don't want to do anything and it's really t uh, exhausting to talk, please clean the corridor, please do that, please do that. Peace has always been a yeah, central please. concern in IPC. In collaboration with the International uh, Peace University in Spain, IPC is now running a special course on peace and conflict resolution. So kind of and War is going on in Kosovo, in Afghanistan. Will Peter Manike's dream ever come true? It speaks to certain of our, what we would call, postmodern understandings. I mean, about the division of things, about building walls and categories, all of these things. It is to be seen how much IPC can preserve its pristine ideas in future. Or will it become like any other international boarding school? I sometimes wonder. Yeah, but it's
So much depends on the teachers who are committed, but a lot depends on the students as well. It is interesting to observe how quickly they form friendship, and sometimes how quickly it peters out. They argue, they quarrel, especially after the euphoria of the first few days gets over. But by then they become almost like members of the same family. They also quarrel then, but they quarrel like brothers and sisters. A Nigerian student tried to convince me that there are ghosts in the college basement. The eerie atmosphere in the basement has made her believe so. I wish they were there. Life is a bit boring without ghosts, fairies, and nymphs. They are young, so love seems to occupy a great deal of their thoughts. The other day, Christoph was telling me the story of a couple during the 30s who met and fell in love at IPC. Twenty years later, their daughter came to IPC and also found her match here. The thread of love continues through generations. It's no problem for me now. It's, I like it very much. She likes black. Huh? That's why I put on black. <laughs> and I think it's so interesting sometimes they have another hair if you look it's another feeling and just experience. I don't know. <laughs> and what about your stereotypes? Me? No, not much. <laughs> well, uh, before, you know, Russian people always, uh, they always uh, connotate Russian people to having this uh, uh, this outlook of being really uh, what? <laughs> I don't know how to put it in words but Russian people are usually not polite as in the in the okay, I'm from Belarus. they always want to kill people or they always connotate it with mafia especially like the Georgian the Georgian mafia but I mean I got to know them and they just like any other nationality <laughs> It's for me a very big surprise. <laughs> you have a boyfriend here? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody works on your nerves, then you just have to have enough of all the people always around you 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And it just drives you mad sometimes and you want to be alone then you're in your room and after five minutes somebody comes barging in your room and you're like, no, leave me alone, please. <laughs> and um, you learn about... <laughs> May I? <laughs> it's Wancho. Come in, Wancho. Grab a cigarette. <laughs> They're on the table. <laughs> It is curious to see how, with the passage of time, the body language of students changes. Stop biting my nails. This is the first time in my whole life my nails are so long. Well, this is. No? 
I've been fighting them since I was a little girl, you know. It just stopped. A lot of enthusiasm centers around the cultural evenings of IPC. In this age of monoculture, it is important to preserve the traits of national cultures. Of course, the world is a global village, but not at the expense of the cultural differences. And the cultural evenings of IPC can be the ideal examples of that. During Indian cultural evenings, Georgian girls also danced Indian dances. Human rights is an important issue in the college. During December, a Christmas tree was lighted with candles to commemorate human rights all over the world. The world has changed a lot since Peter Manike's days. Possibility of total war is now dim. But a lot remains to be done in the field of better understanding and harmony among nations and communities. What impression. That it's possible to, to live together, really, different. If, if so some people say, oh, it's not really possible to make a multicultural community. But when you came back, you can say it, it works. It really works. It was so intimate and so good. My soul is like so big now. It's so filled up with different kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm just filled with love. During departure, they are sad. Some of them even cry. Of course they cry, as deep in their hearts, they realize that some of them will never meet again. But whether they meet again or not, they seem to have become friends for life. In the beginning, I had some doubts. Will it work? But yes. It does work. It is very much possible for people from completely different cultures to live together and to become true friends. I think here lies the unique success of IPC.
Manike had a dream. Life is worth living because we have some dreams to pursue. But dreams are expensive. Still, it is worthy to keep our dreams alive. Does any dream really get fulfilled? Yet when I see the Berlin Wall is gone, apartheid is cornered in South Africa, and dialogue, not conflict, is getting more prominence in the events of the world, I become more optimistic. Students have left. When I look back on all those 16 weeks, I realize that the unique atmosphere of IPC has not only changed the students, but has changed me a bit too. Again, a new course will start. New students, new faces. Again, Christophe will walk busy. Trine, Susan, Anita will work hard in the office. Max or Garba will show their students around and Jens will tell another of his jokes. Anwar and Manu are going back to Paris. My time to go back home has come too. Bangladesh Film Institute, Dohaja Choi shall take a deshe, Niomito Habe, Jonjito Niman course, Porichana Koreashi, Akma Sheshi Porikonish Titohai, Porika Jaro Tinahan, Tara Titio Porbe, Akma Shapi, Pashmini Dorekiki, Jolochitro Shal Purgo Jolochitro Jutu Habe, Niman Korashi Jopa. The eight course the Ambra, the good in the Reporchana Koreashi, Omrasha Korea, Nazar Jolochitro Nimania Gruhi, Tara, eight course. 